there we go. It is working. It needs a bit of shadow so that you can see it. But uh, yeah, uh, it's literally, I powered it on and it's been running for a minute and 12 seconds. That's pretty good. I got powered off a little PP3 battery. I had to, it's got a little connector for um, some Arduino stuff that I've been doing. So I had to kind of hack it to pieces, but um, yeah, I'm quite happy. Uh, I got a bit confused at places, so I did have to do a lot of guesswork. These bits were easy because they were, you know, there's only one of them, right? Um, the um, capacitors were fairly simple. I had to work out which was positive and negative because I couldn't remember exactly how to do it. But again, there's only three of them and they're, they're all labelled. So that was quite easy. Um, these were easy other than this one, which was different, but exactly the same size, just had different writing on it. So I, I had it sort of fixed over here at one point. I had to uh, remove it and, and put it in this right place. Uh, you can see I got slightly better at doing my soldering with resistors. So this was the foot, my first attempt, which basically looks like a left-handed person has done it right-handed blind and uh, while trying to juggle at the same time. Uh, this is slightly better. Um, still, uh, you know, the whole point of this was to try something I hadn't done before and um, to try and get better at it as well. So I think this is just the, the battery here um, is a three volt thing. I don't think that's expected to power all this. It seems like a lot of draw on a three volt uh, tab battery. So I think it's just to hold memory possibly, but I'll give that a go a little later. Um, let's have a look at the other side. Not too shabby. Some of it's looking a bit shonky. This one here is shonk. Um, and there's one here that's not looking so great either. Uh, the rest of it's okay. I only had to desolder once. I made one mistake and I had to desolder it. Um, well, that's, yeah, desoldering is fun. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Look, all self-contained and sitting there. There is a button on it. Um, I did press it. Uh, it just turns the display off. And then you press it again and it turns the display back on. I, I guess that's to save voltage on the battery, I would think. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. All done.